everybody, Signe here. I hope everybody is doing well out there in the world. Um, this video probably won't come out for maybe three or four weeks from, from the time that I've shot it. So at this point, who knows what on earth could have gone on at this point in this year. Um, murder hornets or, um, you know, who, uh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Um, but so I've been doing this little series over the last couple weeks where I um, give you kind of like a little sneak peek inside um, some things that I know about some of my art fair fellows. Um, one of my favorite things about going to the art fairs is getting to know the artists in person, um, getting to have interaction with them that uh, informs my understanding of them and their work. And I think that here in the shutdown, that's a thing that we're kind of lacking. Like we get to see what people are making, we can go on their, their website, we can see their CV, but we're really lacking that like human connection that you get to have with people um, at the festivals, which again, one of my favorite things about getting to uh, show my work, show our work in that way. Um, so who I want to introduce you today uh, to is a good friend of ours who's actually uh, also local to Greenville. His name is Joseph Bradley, Joey Bradley. And again, I don't want to say a ton about his work. I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about what I know about Joey as a person. I will say a tiny bit about his work. I will say that um, Joey is an incredibly gifted uh, draftsman. Uh, and he makes these wonderful paintings. Um, his most recent series are mostly of um, wildlife, and to me they have um, a sensibility almost like they are illustrations of a parable, perhaps. So they have, they're, they're of nature, but they're of a highly like symbolic quality. Um, one of my favorite things about his work is that a lot of it has quite a sense of humor. Um, I have a little piece over my shoulder that we traded for to show this past year. And I love like the look on this owl's face. Like every single time I look at it, it makes me laugh. Um, so kind of like anthropomorphic um, animal characters. So anyway, that's enough about Joey's work. You can go out and take a look at it yourself. But so I wanted to tell you a couple things about Joey that you might not know just from reading his CV or taking a look at his website. Um, and so I'm going to tell you two things about Joey. Uh, one is that he sings like an absolute angel. It's the most fascinating thing. Um, I don't know if I should tell, tell it like this or not, but he actually sounds a lot like Adele <laughs> when he sings. It's amazing. Um, we used to be studio mates, and it was such a treat to get to hear him all day through the wall, singing and whistling. He whistles like it, it's incredible. Um, but the main thing I want to tell you about Joey is that he is an absolutely incredibly funny person. He is one of the funniest people I've ever known in this life. And I was trying to think of a story about Joey I could tell that could kind of illustrate a little bit about this. And this story really cracked me up. And also I think it's so sort of illustrative of Joey's personality. Um, we were at a show in, um, I think we were in California last year. And it's funny because I think that I see Joey probably more now all over the country than I see him in Greenville. When we're here, we're just kind of hunkered down in the studio, but when we're out at the shows, we get to see more of each other. But anyway, um, we were at a show in California, and I would say that Joey's sense of humor is kind of somewhere between like um, Seinfeld and Larry David. So he gets himself into situations a lot like Larry David. Um, but it doesn't have quite that level of kind of a, of a harshness about it. The story he was telling me is that um, he, he has a lovely wife, her name is Rachel, and they have three little boys, and they had all traveled out to the show together, and then um, I, think it was, I think it was on the way there to California. His oldest son had been separated from them and was sitting with other people on the airplane, and so he could tell that on the flight, like his son was talking really intently with the person next to him, like the whole time they were having this very animated conversation. And so when they get off the plane, Joey says to his son, like, yeah, it, it seemed like you were having a really intense conversation with that guy. And his son said, yeah, you know how when um, you say some, somebody asks you something and you answer, and then you realize like you really gave the wrong answer, but it's like too late. <laughs> and 
And Joey was like, well, what did you say to him? And he said, well, he asked me if I was a Mormon, and I said yes. <laughs> So basically, he had to have like two hours of conversation about his Mormonism on this plane. And that is, that story somehow so sums up Joey. I can't even tell you, even though it didn't actually happen to Joey. But Joey likes to get himself into situations like that. So anyway, runs in the family. Um, but anyhow, that's my little story about Joey. Um, if you want to go and take a look at his work, again, um, josephbradleystudio.com and uh, Instagram at Joseph Bradley Studio. And uh, anyway, we love you guys and we hope you're well. Take care, bye-bye.